Hi, I'm Jessica from Shutterstock, and today I'm gonna to show you how to create your own seamless carousel post using Adobe Illustrator. Together, we will create a photo collage that will allow you to share tips and tricks with your audience on whatever topic that you'd like. So let's get started by setting up our document in Illustrator. This is the most important step because this will allow you to create that seamless transition from post to post. So let's jump in right now and get started. Here we are in Adobe Illustrator. To get started, we are going to create a new document and I'm gonna change these dimensions to 1080 by 1080. This is a perfect square and the ideal size for Instagram. Here we are going to change the artboards to four. This means that our carousel will have four different posts in them. If you want to do more or less, you can change this here in artboards. So I wanna make sure that this is set to RGB and this is set to screen, which is 72 PPI. Then we're gonna go here to more settings and I wanna make sure that this is set to zero spacing. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is set this arrange by row. And once we are done with that, we are going to create this document and we are set to go with our four Instagram carousel posts. First things first, we are going to be adding a background. You wanna make sure that you're adding a background to all of your posts to create that seamless transition. I'm going to be adding a gradient for this one. I think it's really perfect for this type of project because adding a gradient will allow for that slight variation, but still keep that cohesive transition between posts. So let's do that now. So I'm gonna go here to the rectangle tool and I'm just gonna click and drag over all of these squares. So now we have this rectangle created. I'm gonna add a gradient on top of this. So in order to do that, we're gonna go here to the gradient tool and I'm just gonna click here on the rectangle we just created. And as you can see, it's a white to black gradient. We are gonna change that and make it our own gradient. If you want to change the color, you can just click right here I'm gonna change this to this blue color that's already in my swatches. And then I'm gonna double click this black color. I'm gonna change it just to any color so I can get back here and I can put in my color code. I already have my color code prepared, so I'm just gonna paste it in there. If you do wanna play around with all of these colors, you can go here and use your color picker or you can just do like I'm doing and put your color code in there. And once you're done, you're gonna press enter and our gradient is set. So I'm just gonna change this a little bit. I wanna make it a little bit more blue as it fades into that yellow color. And now we have this background set, let's add our photos. Now we'll be adding our photos. You wanna make sure that whatever you're adding, whether it's photos or design elements, that you have those hanging over the edge of each artboard. This will allow that seamless transition when your followers scroll through your post. So let's head back in and do that now. To do that, we are gonna go here to File, we are going to Place, and we are going to place all of these images here in our workspace. So once you're done selecting these, you're just gonna press Place. I'm just gonna click four times because there are four photos. I'm gonna go here to the Selection tool so I can just resize all of these. I'm gonna hold down Shift to make sure that it stays proportional. So then once I'm done, I'm gonna click out of here because I want to make sure that one photo is selected because there are all of the photos underneath one another. So I'm gonna click this first photo and add it right here. This will be our first post and the post that everyone sees on your Instagram feed. This next one I will add right here. And this one I will add last. And if you do wanna be more exact with this, you can always use these align tools right here. And then this last one will be on the second post. Now that we have our photo collage done, we are going to be using the paintbrush tool to create some whimsical lines all throughout our posts. This is another great element that we can use to create that seamless transition from post to post. So let's head back in and do that now we are going to be using the paintbrush tool. So we're just gonna double click this paintbrush tool. I wanna make sure that fidelity is set to smooth and this is set to edit selected pass within 12 pixels. Then I'm just going to press okay and we are set to go. I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit and I'm just going to add a whimsical line on top of all of our posts. 
So I'm just gonna change this color. I'm gonna select this fill color and press the backslash on my keyboard because I don't want it to be this fill color. I'm gonna go here to this stroke color and I'm going to change it here to swatches. I want to select the color that we started the gradient with, but then I'm just gonna double click it and I want to make sure that it is a bit lighter than the rest of the blue color that we have here. And once I'm done, I'm just gonna press OK. Now I'm going to just draw a wave over these photos. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just gonna click and start dragging through all of these until I get to the end. It doesn't have to be perfect, and if you do want to undo it, you can always press Command Z on your keyboard to create a new line. I am pretty happy with this one, so I'm just gonna use the selection tool just to adjust this a little bit. So I'm gonna go here to the stroke and I'm just going to increase this to about three. And then you can play around with these different brushes and see whatever works for you. I'm gonna use the five point flat because I like this really calligraphy look where it's very whimsical and it looks like I just took a pen and lightly drew over all these posts. So from here, I am just going to decrease the opacity. I want it to blend in a bit more, so I'm just gonna set this to about 60% opacity. And as you can see, it blends in a bit more. So if I zoom in a little bit more on this, I am just going to copy this line. So I'm gonna click the line, and I'm just gonna hold down Alt and Option on my keyboard to just make a copy and duplicate that. And I can rotate this so it looks like these lines are waving through each other. And I can just keep going until I like what I see. I can also move it around with the arrows on my keyboard to make those small little adjustments as well. So once we are done with our lines, we are going to add some text. This carousel post is a quick tutorial for my followers. I'm creating an engaging and fun adventure for them to scroll through each post. You can do this to engage and educate your audience on whatever topic you'd like. So now I will be adding text on there to share my tips and tricks, so let's head back in right now. And let's head to the type tool. So we are gonna go here to the type tool and before I start typing, I wanna make sure that I get my text all set up. So here I'm just going to select the font that I want to use and I'm going to use Glacial Indifference. This is one of my favorite fonts. Feel free to use whatever font works for you. And here I'm just going to increase the size a lot. I do wanna make sure that I can read it while I'm typing, but you can always go back and change it later. And then I'm going to change this kerning to about 50. And once I'm done, I'm just gonna click anywhere and I can start typing. So I'm going to start typing my title, which will be on the first post, how to take better photos. And then I'm going to add a call to action to the bottom of it. So it will be swipe through. And from there, I'm going to do the selection tool because I do want to change this text a bit. So I'm going to go here to paragraph and I want to align all of this text. And then I'm going to go here and I'm going to select just the title, so how to take better photos. And I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. And then I can change the line height if I just want to change this right here. Then I go here to make the space between how to take and then the next line better photos a bit smaller. And then I want to make this, the last line, have a little bit more space. So here I'm just going to add this on my first post. If I want to make the entire thing a bit smaller now that I see it on the post, I can go and select the corner while holding down shift on my keyboard and I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller. If you do want to center anything on these posts, you can select the element that you want aligned and you can go here to the align panel and just make sure that it is aligned to center. This will only align to the individual artboard, so it'll just align to this first post that we're doing. So this will be an instructional post and I'm going to be adding some numbers. So this will be one, two, and three. So instead of creating a whole new text, I'm just going to copy what I've already set up. So I'm gonna hold down Alt and Option on my keyboard while clicking and dragging this right here. So I'm just going to select all of this to get rid of it and I'm going to type out one. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can see 
and then I'm just I want to make it a little bit bigger so I'm holding down shift on my keyboard and then I'm just gonna click and drag this I'm gonna keep copying this over so it has each number and then I can go ahead and edit all of these so I'm gonna go ahead and add two right here and I'm gonna add three so now I'm going to speed this up a bit and I'm going to add the text which is going to be each individual tip that will be added here in this Instagram post. It is easier if you go ahead and copy the text that you already created, like we did with each of these numbers. And once we are done with that, we are set to go. And when you're ready to export, we are gonna go up here to file, we are going to export, we are gonna go here to export as, we can go here and name our file. So we will name this IG Caro. You can name it whatever you like. This is where you're going to save your files. We can go here and we can change the format. I'm gonna save this as a PNG and you wanna make sure that use artboards is selected. And you wanna make sure also that all is selected. So it's gonna save all of your artboards. And then once you're done, you're gonna press export and you are good to go and you're ready to post on Instagram. That is all for today. I just wanted to share a tidbit of knowledge with you before you head out that Instagram carousel posts get three times more engagement than a regular post. I hope that this inspires you to create more of this type of content. Thank you again for joining me today and I will see you next time.